Beautiful day, huh? Gorgeous. It's like spring. They say it's gonna be a terrible winter, so. Oh, like last winter. Huh. So cold. Yup. Yeah, that was the thing. You know, people saying it was one of the worst on record and all that. You know, to me, it just seemed cold. The snow stuck around because of that. And not like it just kept coming, you know, piling up or anything, but really cold, so it stayed. That's true. Anyway, spring will be here soon enough. Baseball will be back. All oh, right. March Madness. Oh, yeah. And Mr. Softy. <laughs> Absolutely, love that. That's when it's official, as far as I'm concerned. You see, those trucks and it's pretty much clear sailing from there on in. Uh -huh. Summer is right around the corner. That's true. I love that. Beautiful day, ice cream cone. You come over here and sit in the park. That's lovely. Sounds great. Trust me, it's perfect. Yeah? Listen to those kids. I know. It makes you smile to hear him out here, laughing and playing, doesn't it? Yeah. Sounds like they're having fun. Yeah, totally. You got any? Huh? Kids, do you have children? Oh, sorry. Um, I don't, no. None of my own. Got it. Wasn't lucky enough for that to happen in my life, so... Huh. But you'd like some or won't even, I mean, if you could. Huh? Uh, you, you don't have to answer that. Sorry. No, that's all right. None of my business, really. That's no, fine. I mean, not none, but you, know, you don't have to say anything. If you don't want to. Did you say it was or was not your business, my, my having children? Mm, neither. I sort of said it was somewhere in between, I guess. I... I'm sorry, I'm lost. In between? What does that mean? I mean, yes. It's not really my business if you have a kid or not. That's not what I'm... But I have a kid, and you know him, and that is my business, that part. Now, they, uh, they won't be coming here today, by the way. My wife, my kid. Today, it's just gonna be us. You and me, so you can quit checking the time. That made you quiet? No, not at all. I, 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 I just don't... What, I don't know what to say, or uh, which one I'm talking about? Which kid? I don't... I'm not sure I like your tone, Mr... Sims. Uh, my name is Kip Sims. Yours? Bill. My name is Bill. Oh. Bill what? Bill Jensen. Bill Jensen, yeah. <laughs> You're him. I got the right guy. I suppose there's always a chance they could have sat down next to someone else, a different guy who accidentally sat where you usually do in the afternoons. That is possible. Look, what, what, what is this about, honestly? It's about you. Me? About you and my son. That's what I'm here about. Look, my uh, lunch is almost over. Oh, Thanks. you should probably take a long lunch. What? That's well, advice. It's not a threat. Look, uh, I know, but why would why would? Because I? you just should. Because I have some things to say, and you need to hear them. Or I'm going to tell them to somebody else, other people, people that you would probably not at all like me talking to. Does that make sense? Huh, Bill? Yes. I mean, yes, I suppose. Yeah, it does. You know it does. <sighs> Taylor. Uh, Taylor is my son. Taylor Sims. Oh. Yeah, you know Taylor, right? Adorable little guy. Four years old. Blonde. You know which one. Right, Bill? Uh, yes, there's a boy who comes by here with his mother. Named Taylor some afternoons, if that's who you're... That's him. He, uh... He talks about you. 
Taylor does. Isn't that funny? He, he talks about you at home when I get back from work, after dinner. No, sometimes during, mostly after. When I have time to sit around and play with him at night, he talks about you. My son talks about the nice man at the park, which is you, Bill. He's talking about you. Is he right? What do you think? I'm sorry? Is he right? I, I don't know what you're asking me. Are you a nice man, Bill Jensen? So I had to ask my wife your last name. She couldn't remember Look, it. This is really day. outrageous. You know that? I mean it. I do. Of course you do. You're, you're, you're coming here and, and, and what? just talking to me like this? Well, I haven't really said that much to you. Ha! Ah. Oh, well, you, you can laugh, be whatever it is you're acting like you are, but it's true. I've only said a couple of things and I asked you a question. A question that you didn't answer yet. What? Are you nice? Is my son right about you or not? Yes, I'm nice. Okay. I am. Fine. I'm a good person. Let's not get carried away there, Bill. All I asked was the nice part. Good is a whole different thing. You have a lovely family. Trish and your son. She's, she's very sweet to talk to, your wife. That's good. And your son. I'm gonna stop you right there, Bill. You can stop talking right now. Because, see, I, 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 I don't really give a shit whether you like them or not. The thing I do care about, though, is that you stop. That you just go away now, stop doing whatever it is you're doing with them from this moment on. Got it? Do you get what I'm saying to you here, Bill? See, I want you to disappear. Look. Bill. What? Do you get it, what I'm saying? I need an answer from you right here and now. <laughs> Yes, but it's all that matters. I need to say something to you. Now, please listen. Bill, just no, stop. I, I'm going to say something here. You are not going to railroad me with your tones and your, your accusations. I have done nothing wrong here at all. Nothing. I have talked to your wife. That's true. Trish and, and your son as well. But there's been no wrongdoing here of any kind, of any kind. Trish speaks to me, she speaks to me. And let me tell you something, she is a lonely person. Now maybe you don't want to hear that, but she is lonely. Now I'm, I'm not insinuating some romantic situation here, I'm not. I see. But whatever you are implying about your son, about Taylor, is sickening. I think it's awful what you've done here, but I need to ask you to please tell your wife to leave me alone from now on, all right? Tell her to go elsewhere in the park with your son. I think that's unfortunate, but there's nothing else to do. Oregon. Hmm. I wasn't sure about it. The photo, it looks like a younger you. But if uh, just the word makes you stop like that, Oregon, then it must be you, right? It's in me. Really? No, it's not. You know what, Bill? I think you're full of shit. Anybody who wasn't full of shit up to the fucking brim and overflowing, they would have walked away just now. They told me to go fuck myself or spit right in my face, march right on out of here. That's what they would have done, which leads me to believe that you are, in fact, the Bill Jensen from the state of Oregon. From Eugene, Oregon. Aren't you? No. No. No, it's not me. Well, you're not Bill Jensen from Eugene? The guy whom I was able to track down for about 50 bucks were the police records there on the internet, hmm? Nope. Pretty easy to prove, Bill. No, I'm... I'm not that person anymore. Oh, I see. So it's more of a philosophical response than the truth. Is that what it is? Because you are the right guy from that place. We did what you did in the past. A few times, even. You are. I'm sure you're better right now. I'm sure you're showing remarkable restraint these days. 
That's probably true. So am I. I'm restraining myself from reaching over there and pulling your cock out through your throat. That's what I want to do to you. But I'm not. No. Because I'm showing remarkable restraint. Look, Mr. Sims, I said I'm a good person to you. And I meant that inside of me. I am, and I'm striving to be that now. Now, it's not fair. It's not fair to me. What I have done is in the past. It's not fair for you to punish me like this. Can't you see it's not right to, for you to do this to me now? No. No. I hear you, what you've just said, but I can't feel that inside me that what I'm telling you is wrong. What's wrong is that I'm not going to tell somebody what you're doing with your afternoons. That's wrong. I'm remiss in not letting somebody at your place of work know who you are and what secrets are hidden away in your past. I'm letting you go. I'm telling you to run off and go bother some other family or a co-worker or innocent child. That's what I'm about to do. That's what I'll get to live with and probably pick up the paper one day and see your face in a photo blinking back at me like you are right now with that what have I done look on your fucking face that is the mistake that I'm about to make but I can live with that please Kip Bill don't Trisha has no idea that I'm doing this obviously neither does Taylor and I don't want their lives changed one iota from what it was since the last day they came here but you will go away. Elsewhere. You will. And, and if I don't, what then? I'll kill you. I'm not joking. I'm not a violent person. I didn't grow up in a house like that. But I'm going to come back here tomorrow, a week from now, three years. Doesn't matter. I will be back, occasionally and often. And if I find you here, reading your paper and listening to the children playing, I will kill you. You understand me? Yes. Kill you, dead. So you decide, Bill, what you want to do next. Think about that while you're sitting here. Think about whether it's worth it or not for you to ever come back here again. Okay? I've done nothing wrong. I've, uh, I've done nothing to your family that is wrong. Fine. I've, 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 I, I haven't. Whatever you say, Bill. <sighs> your wife talks to me. <sighs> she speaks to me about things, not the other way around. I hear you. Your son ran up from that hill right there from right over there and ran up here to me where i was already sitting right. he ran up to me he, he came up to me and he he's he sat right right there on my bench right there i understand and you understand me too right don't you bill you do don't you? Don't you? Yes. Then good. Beautiful day, huh? Gorgeous.
There's so much they wrong. There's been nothing wrong here. Nothing. 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 I have done nothing wrong.